Hello there. My name is Ethan Moore. This is Nick Faber. This is Austin Faber. Today we will be calculating the velocity of a ball as it travels down a ramp, through air, and onto the ground. So, the materials for this procedure are a steel ball, a couple of song books to elevate a ramp, so there's some slant to it, and also an elevated surface above the ground. First of all, we're going to find the time it takes for the ball to reach the ground from the top of this ramp. We'll use the equation distance equals velocity initial times the time plus half of the gravity times the time squared. So we're going to roll the ball down the ramp. I'm going to mark where the ball drops and I'm going to take the distance from where it dropped to the edge of the table and I'm also going to take the distance from the table down to the floor and with the time that we already figured out, we're going to plug that into our second equation, which is velocity equals distance over time. And with the distance, it drops. And the time we got with that equation, we're going to find out the velocity. Thank you.